Way of murder in the beat. Red flag wave it. Red tag save it. Red green, what that means? Morris Lance Bourbon. Who got claim LB? Not the name MJ. Lush and green was the force of all pristine and so awful. Know thyself, the father from my hot capstone. Rip the ground, we put it back to top. See some real engineering. Really know in this day, black stone from the next planet. Still, you have no more, just a stick packet. Batman still up in the cave, he got some sick gadgets. Nigga rich run the whole city with no power to the block lives now. In the door of Red flag make a seven as it rains. A flag buff, many that has waved. So from here to save, I'm an all neck, got a lot of lip. Chopped up to say back up. You see the brain? Red flag waving, red tax saving. Red green, that I mean, more than bourbon. Who got the name Elvin? Not the name MJ. Russian green was the force of all pristine and so off. Red flag waving, red tag saving. Red green, what that mean, more than bourbon. We got claim Elvin, not the name MJ. Yashin Green was the boss of them, I've seen some cords with a value representation, this flag represents a nation Collecting information, tracing our roots, not chasing Pacing my progress, doing more, saying less Black, white, gray, MSF, R.B.G. in our breath The depth of what we do is best presented by how we grew What's true is ear the beholder to proof answers question over Some call it closure, I prefer to say we're open Since we're still scoping for knowledge and others now we're woken Open little to not prefer work, plan, plot Strategize to maximize the probability we saw caught between honor and a smart place. The decisions that we make ripple effects, minor or great, still I appreciate it. Red flag waving, red tag saving, red green, that I mean, more than bourbon. Who got the name Elvin? Not the name MJ. Russell Green was the boss of all pristine and so all red flag waving. Red tag saving, red green, what that mean, more than bourbon. We got claim Elvin, not the name MJ. Yes, green was the boss of them, I've seen some 50,000 year old ancestral claiming flag in the ground, hear the flag and fabric sound. Red for the bloodshed of celestial realms. When all you see is fesses and turbans, be overwhelmed. Standing on the squares, independent and fearless. From lower self to higher self, with no interference. Five point star is her. We call her Venus. My niggas are Nagas. Impropriate persona, genius. In three, five, or seven plus. Whenever you see us, Moorish national disciples, Prophet Ali and Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Confucius. The same frequencies preceding all man made religions. It's plain decency. Secret teaching of the ages. The heart is where the life is. Osiris is Orion, Horus, Mars, Sirius, Isis. Clear conceptions of your work during a crisis. Rep my flag till I'm dust or the husk is lifeless. Rep my flag, red green, five point star, no gold fringes. Stand on my square, no liberty infringes. No rights violated, no Negroes emancipated. All they know is cash traded and decapitated. Red flag. This that new bitch. Children angry and high. 
hyperactive needs more probiotic. Pro black is pro death. I'm pro seeds and process. Pro democracy mores keep me perplexed. Now here in innocence, Kirkman Bay's mores profess. Seating all mores in the back with no protest. Spiritual work is in progress. Speaking pro is best, a point I emphasize, no stress. Meaning attend to what is or is to be, but it's not less. Communications and tests and verbally I express my progress and high probability for how that we opt to get. Opportunities that set our plots in check to apply the domino effect, a story connects. More important than the past project, hence we document to step correct when we reflect. Plus self-respect to the tech that's really focused on growth. This is what it is and we do the theme of this verse, so take note. I proactively promote the quotes that I wrote when enlightened. Stimulate Letting my state to be one more great from inciting affirmations that heighten implementation and writing. Coach Nim said it's helpful to be that he's playing. Pro bono, public, pro facto, pro indefensive. Pro bono, progress, need no promo. Brainwashed by TV programs, no. Making pro is best, my progress project. I proactively promote the quotes that I wrote. Islam War. Islam War. What's good with you? Man, you know what it is, man. Repping that red flag all day. All day. Red flag <laughs> wave it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. What's up with it, more? Yo, every, everything's good, more. Everything's peaceful. You know, so, we just we just we just got warmed up. We just got warmed up, you know, with a with a session before this. So Oh yeah. Oh we, yeah. We're about to have some conversations right now. Yeah, I'm probably uncomfortable. Yeah, uncomfortable conversations. Shout out to my brother Jamal to live with Dula Squirrel Foot Bay, though. Islam. What's up? Rise of the Moors. Rise of the Moors, Kenny Land Moors. Shout out to all the Moors, man, everywhere, worldwide. Islam. What's up? What's up with it, man? What you wanna what you wanna talk? What you wanna chop it up? Cause I got well, I got well, go ahead. No, I was I was um I was online yesterday. Um, okay. There was some um, Aboriginal people talking crazy yesterday mm -hmm. on um, on um, on YouTube. Uh -huh. so I was listening to them, and they had I don't know if you know this brother named um, Atatrinus one. Nah. Yeah, I'll this, think so. yeah, this brother Atatrinus one. He's um, on the on the um, Aboriginal side of things, but you know he's repping his L and and he proclaimed and all that. Mm. So, um, one of the issues that I see him having with them is them playing this thing of, you know, um, it doesn't matter what we call ourselves or whatever, you know, we can say that we're Indians because, you know, the constitution says Indians not taxed and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to get, you know, your perspective, your idea with regard to these claims that they're making about mm -hmm. being Aboriginal indigenous autochthonous part of some tribe um mm. you know some some ancestral whatever that said that we're not moors but mm. they're claiming everything else that they are mm -hmm. crazy right yo i'm just trying i'm just trying to figure it out as far as what these people be on because of course uh noble Drew Ali, the prophet everyone has to proclaim their free national name yeah so without a free national name, what nation do you belong to on the planet Earth? And then you crack the book open by my brother Jamal, you know what yeah. I'm saying, Squirrelfoot, you know, pick it up. On, if you can, pick it up. You know what I'm saying? Yo, cool, Joe, I'll be promoting this book like I wrote the book. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes well, sometime, sometime they're like that. That's like, that's like, um, um, Abdullah, the other Abdullah Bay. <laughs> That's like the Morris and Masonry book. Yeah. Same thing. Pushing that book like I wrote that shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's that shit, though. Yep. It's that shit, though. But yep. to add on what you're saying, though, bro put up a perfect analogy of true Americans, all copper mm -hmm. tones. So, various copper tones. So, what nation is black people underneath what flag do black people so-called black people what flag do you have you can't say you are l or bay and then still say that you're you're nationless mm -hmm. that's 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 an impossibility you can't be that you either one or the other you have a land or you don't 
Mexicans got a land. Jamaicans, Boricuas, Cubans, Argentinians, Chileans, everybody got a nation, but so-called black people. Brazilian. Mm -hmm. I mean, what nation? What nation are you from, man? What nation are you from? Because if you saying you a color person, you got to know what color means in law. Colored in law is this. It means something painted. In law, it means fake. So are we? Are, are, are people saying that they 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 want rights, but they fake people? Colored mm. people are civilitia mortuus, meaning they are civilly dead which is a legal status, a legal status, not your complexion. And we all know that color of law is how these people have been able to manipulate us and take on that brand and then do us dirty. Right. I mean, just like dude, just like dude talking about he a, he a L or he a bay. So if you are L or bay, why don't you just fully be that? What What, what is the hold oh, Oh, he he's he's there. It, okay. the, the, the the issue is the issue is the other people that mm. he's playing he's playing the association stuff with, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because of you know the brotherhood and the unity and and whatever. But mm -hmm. all these people who he's revolving around, they don't got a status. They're claiming Indian. They're oh. claiming some tribe. Okay. They're claiming. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So. We've been telling him, time to jump ship and get on our side. Yeah. Stop playing yeah. around with these people who are obviously either compromised uh -huh. or they really don't care about about being liberated. Mm. You know what I mean? Because one of the issues that even even without here that we have is this idea of um, you know, the, the, the it doesn't matter what we call ourselves, all we need to do is just unify. No, 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 you don't. No. Unity doesn't work like that. It don't work like that at all. Unity doesn't work like that. It don't work but like that. Know, at people are gonna people are gonna play whatever they whatever they wanna play. You know what I mean? Um and then when Mars start having these uncomfortable conversations with them, right, then they wanna get mad and then they wanna shoot people and talk about people's mom and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I, I see a lot of the fuckery with our people when it comes to us just letting them know you don't have to be under that dead status if you don't want to. You can be what you're supposed to be, which is a more, a national of the land and have all your inalienable rights. You ain't got to be a, 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 a piece of chattel property. You want to be that shit. Now, you know how, 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 would you, how would you justify this one? That um, Because we, we would say that one of the things that when I was in their chat, they were they were um battling about was well we're, we're not all moors mm. how would you qualify that we're all moors and not these these other fictions i will say this to them people you got you got two kinds of people in the law you have naturals and you have artificials this is this is what we got to do because, you know what I'm saying, Cujo? It'd be a lot of these people that be coming out their face. And I, I left the book. I wish I would have brought it. It's called Psychological Triggers. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people just go with, with hunches. They go with, they, they, got a, they got a gut hunt feeling or they got a hunch. That's not law, though. Because you can make some real irrational-ass decisions and choices if you don't come fully with law. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So if you don't come with law, if you're looking in the law book, there's two kind of people, period. You're either a natural person or you're an artificial person. You know what I'm saying? So which one are you going to be on the land of, because you will you have people come like this. And you already know, Cujo, they come like, well, I was born in the United States. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, you're not born in the United States, fam. That is that is a de facto. What where, where that joint is? Where's that joint at? Here you go, right here. Here you go, right, right on time, Moore. And you see, Moore's come out the books that's upright, fam. Yeah. Check the joint out by my brother Squirrelfoot, Rise of the Moors. Are you confused about law? This is us, mighty Moors. This is a so-called black person on the ground getting beat up by a cop. And this is a Templar. 
a Knights Templar, a crusader, a Christian crusader. They've been beating our people, murdering our people for a few centuries now. And more as I'm telling y'all, you don't have to be this dude on the ground no more. You don't have to be that woman on the ground no more. You can be this and stand tall. Okay, what, what about what about when they say, well, well, I saw a video where a Moor got arrested. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know they come with that shit. You know they gonna come with that dumb shit. That's the, <laughs> that's the dumb shit because they'll be like, oh, well, I seen a Moor. You know, he got arrested and whatnot, but I guarantee you. I'm not going to say I guarantee you, but I was. No, I will say I guarantee you because I guarantee you that more spit this law out. And if those pol policy enforcers did kidnap him or a human tried to human traffic him, they let him out the back of the jail when it was all said and done. Know that because he's standing on truth. He's standing on law. If you don't stand on anything, you stand on law. I mean, yo, Cujo, yo, because look, it's like the land is the people's connection, part and parcel. So Moors, Moabites, our Moroccans, all proper nouns. Moorish American identities that identifies the national bloodline of the people and the continent on which they domicile, America. Similar to a Mexican American, Brazilian American, Haitian American, you know what I'm saying? Trinidadian, you're still an American. The word race is synonymous with species. Here are a list of races fish, cats, dogs, plants, monkeys, birds, humans, turtles, etc. The human species or the human race is identified by nationalities. Humans are either named after land or the land is named after the people as the people are part and parcel of the land and national government in which they live. Mm. So I'm trying, I'm trying to figure it out more with these people that be talking about, well, I'm a crayon color. I'm black. Okay. What land is that? What nation is that? What continent does black belong to? See colored question mark so you are you are you a goddamn question mark spanish yeah. is a question brown purple green and i and i say this shit all the time cool joe there's a land called greenland but ain't nobody up there the color green <laughs> <laughs> all the time i hit it <laughs> all the time <laughs> <laughs> Who's green up there? <laughs> Hit him with the emoji. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Hit him with the emoji shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. But just I like you said man. too, I'm gonna I'm go into my. I'm gonna go into mine too, right here. Go ahead, bust just them like up your head, man. Just like you're saying, corporations are persons. Right. Mm -hmm. Corporations are persons. Yep. And then you go over here, and it says, a country is a person. So mm -hmm. you need to be specific when you're engaging other people, especially people who will have you under colonial powers. Yep. Because if you're not, if you're not specific with them, they will use this law and beat your ass with it. Yep. Every every day, all day. Yep. Right? Like you were saying, persons are of two kinds, natural and artificial. Natural person is a human being. Artificial persons include a collection or succession of natural persons forming a corporation, a collection of property. Mm -hmm. The latter class of artificial persons is recognized only to a limited extent in our law. Examples are the estate of a bankrupt or deceased person. So you claim you're a person and you don't put natural on there, you're saying that you're bankrupt and you're deceased. Uh. At that point, nobody needs to give you any attention. Nobody needs to give you any time. Nobody needs to give you any handout. They need to do anything. Uh -huh. They Talk can violate you as much as they want. 
Talk to him. Go ahead, Mark. Talk to him. Coming out of the book, Slaves Shall Serve, written by our European hybrid, James Westerman. You know what I'm saying, Cujo? It be funny to me, though, because people be like, man, now I had a dude, yo, I had a dude to write some some ignorant shit in one of my on one of my pages about how nationality doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So I bring up the fact that the fact, not the belief or opinion, that this is an actual document. It's right here. And it's called the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. I mean, that's a fact, right? You know, 1948. This is one thing Obama did do. He signed on to that document. And in this document, it specifies not just a more, it's not just about a Moorish thing per se. It's about a universal declaration of human rights thing. And so it's saying Article 15, Section 1. Let me zoom in a little bit. Everyone has the right to a nationality. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So if everyone has the right to a nationality, then what the hell are they? Why? The, why? I ain't going to say why. People got to twist it when they think it's just a thing that you join up to. You don't join up to it. You just be. Right. You just be. And, to add, to, and to add on to that, not, yeah, only, to not only the Declaration of Human Rights, but also mm -hmm. the rights of a child, you have a right to a nationality. Yes, sir. And also the rights of indigenous people. You have a mm -hmm. right to a nationality, which is going back again to these same Indian people who mm -hmm. are making claims that it doesn't matter what you call yourself, we could say whatever, and then they're going to start talking about UN drip and all that stuff, but that says you have a right to a nationality. Uh huh. So why aren't they claiming a nation? Mm -hmm. If they're going to ride with UN drip, they should be claiming a nation. You can't be claiming a tribe and ride with UN drip. You Talk can't be claiming a clan and ride with UN drip. You can't be claiming it doesn't matter what we call ourselves and ride with human rights and then get mad when people violate your human rights because mm -hmm. you choose not to have a nationality. Talk to him. Talk to him more. Talk to him. So right. when you're talking about what Noble Jirali was on, Noble Jirali brought back the nationality for our people to get. Exactly. When Moors are not part of no organization. This is a movement. It's a difference. This is a movement. Movements can't be stopped. And then you're talking about the so-called Indians, right? The five nations. Okay. They came together with the wampum right here. The wampum belt. It represents the unification of peace amongst the five nations, five civilized tribes. See the nations? These are the nations. The color purple is associated with royalty and white, which is purity. The white lines connecting each square represents unity. The spade shape or tree of peace in the middle represents the five confederations dropping their weapons and coming in peace. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Moors be talking to y'all all the time. Y'all just be hard-headed. They be hard-headed, cool Joe. Hard-headed. Hard-headed, man. How come they don't argue with... How come... How come they not arguing with the House Joint Resolution number 75? Why they arguing that? When they acknowledged the Moorish titles, the Ali's, the L's, the Bay's, the Days, the Owls. How come they don't argue with Congress? Why do they want to argue? Mean, you know what I'm saying? Definitely not, definitely not gonna argue with their with their with their master and their god. Man, that's all. That's all I be saying. Why don't they argue that? Say argue House Joint Resolution 1203. Why they don't argue that? Whole time, they probably don't even have a the faintest idea that those are actual documents, though. That's the crazy mm -hmm. shit. That's the yeah. that's the lunacy though. Shit yep. is crazy. 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 Hey. So what 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 they talking about 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 the 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 the, the so-called bullshit 
out of nowhere, no knock warrant. Mm. What they talking about with that? They well, they well, what they talking about? Well, you know, you know that again, the whole victimization mindset that our people have, mm. right? They never ever look at the facts. Man. Now Talk we understand that they're that they're highwaymen and you know they they make up records and stuff like that to make their stuff look good or whatever. Yep. But you have to look at certain things from the proper perspective. Now I don't know. Me me personally, I don't know why if a noise wake a noise there's a noise that happens in the house. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And you know I go up to go check to see what's going on. Right. What where where's where's my wife going? Where's she going without no weapon or whatever? Mm -hmm. Why are you even getting out the bed? Because if right. you're talking about they shot her in her bed and all that stuff, she wasn't even in the bed. Mm. That's uncomfortable for him right there. She wasn't in the bed. Talk to Why her. is she even out of the room where she's protected and safe? Mm -hmm. Why is she walking around while I'm walking around trying to see who's in the house? Mm -hmm. Knowing that I have the I have the arm drawn and I might shoot. Somebody might shoot back. Yeah. Didn't didn't it register to, to stay in the room? Cl mm -hmm. Close the door, lock the door, wait till I come back. Right. And then you go in there and you have your piece in there and you hold your piece and unless you hear the three knocks or whatever, you shoot through the door. Right. But they don't want to go there. They want to play their little victim stuff. Or oh, she she didn't she didn't get Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton was sleeping. Mm. Talk to her. Fred Hampton was sleeping. She wasn't oh. sleeping. She was up. They heard the noise and they got up and she went following. Mm -hmm. Which is why when it comes to certain things, like, you know, it's not a it's not a thing with, like this the 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 statement of women know your place. Right. Applies in certain situations. Mm -hmm. Right? Unless you're coming out blazing too. You're not supposed to be back here playing, playing shadowing, shadowing the man. Mm. My duty as the man is to protect you. How am I going to protect you if you're not in the place that's protected? Mm -hmm. I'm not able to protect you. Mm -hmm. Second of all, the only reason people have no knock warrant is if they know that there's some criminal activity going on and they want to catch you while you're doing the criminal activity. Exactly. They're not no knocking warrant just because they feel like doing that. They're doing that because they've already had a case that they were looking into, gathering evidence or whatever like that, and yep. they're trying to catch you in the act. Yep. That's what no knock warrant is. They want to catch you doing the criminal stuff. Right. Because, because go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Kujo. Go ahead. Because Talk to if they knock, you could flush the crack. Right. If you if they knock, you could throw the stuff out the window. Mm -hmm. Talk if to they them knock, more. you're not gonna be surprised. Yep. What they want to do is get you by the element of surprise. No Fact. different than the gangbanger guy on the street. He's not yep. announcing that we're gonna come to your block to go shoot your block up. They're announcing that. Mm -hmm. Why would they announce that? Mm -hmm. Why would they want you to be to be waiting for them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, go ahead, more. And to add on to that, more, there is no such thing as a no knock warrant. No knock warrants are totally fictional, unconstitutional proceedings that these mercenaries do all the goddamn time. Because as you see, the requirement for raking, making an arrest in an inside of a private domicile, they have to have two things. They have to have an arrest warrant 
and a restaurant. What up? What up, G? What you want? I'm on live right now. All right, I'm gonna come over there. Back. They gotta have yeah, cool Joe. We on the streets right now. You know how it be. Oh, you already know. Hedges and the highways. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so they gotta have an arrest warrant to come to your domicile. They have to have a search warrant to come into your domicile. This is the this is what the Fourth Amendment. Hold up, I gotta put the disclaimer out there. The oh, disclaimer boy, boy. is this. The disclaimer is this. Everybody that who claims that you a so-called African-American black person. This shit is not for you. This could be for you. This could be you for protection if you let go of the black, Negro, colored, African-American brand. This so it ain't for your ass. But it, it really is, but it's not because you ain't let that shit go. This is for the ones who proclaim their nationality and standing on it. They talk about protection. These are your protections. Look, it say type of warrant required the the fourth amendment makes provisions for two kinds of warrant arrest and search the type of warrant needed to make an arrest inside a private residence depends on who resides there when the person to be arrested resides on the premises police are only required to have an arrest warrant when the residence belongs to someone else the police must have a search warrant because they may have to search the premises, the person's home in order to find the suspect. My question is this, Cujo. Benjamin Crump, did he ever bring up the fact that they didn't have a search warrant? Did he also bring up the fact that they have an arrest warrant? Where is that at? Did no, they no. At? And Where again, at? bringing up bringing up Benjamin Crump if he's suing under the guise of civil rights which is unconstitutional yep that's why he never asked those questions mm. uncomfortable because, conversation because the no knock warrant is for unconstitutional activity Yes, sir. Uh, By people who are exercising color of authority, they're going to do no knock warrant, color back. of law, color of office, right? Whatever color we got, color of title. All the colors. Remember the remember color, right? Colorable actions, colorable alteration, which is them playing around with documents and all that stuff. Yep. Colorable cause, colorable claim. Colorable imitation. Colorable imitation. Colorable pleading. Wow. If he's suing, if he's suing with this whole thing, talking about civil rights. Colorable transaction, the 12 million, which is not in gold and silver. Oh man. Hit him with the emoji face. <laughs> Uncomfortable conversation. <laughs> that they never that they never want to have because yeah, more are gonna bring out. The facts. Yes, sir. Moors are going to bring out the law. Moors yes, are not going to be dealing with our feelings. Moors are not going to be dealing with our emotions. Moors are going to be dealing with what is and what is not. Facts. Facts. There's the emoji. Oh, yeah. And, and somebody was asking where to get the books from. If you put that out again. Oh, uh, you could put, say, put, go to, go to rise of the Moors dot org. Go to Canaan Land Moors, check them out. Go to RV Bay Publications, check that out. Uh, I don't, I don't know what Abdullah's uh, um, joint is though. Just do moorsandmasonry.org. Just go okay. to moorsandmasonry.org. Yeah, go on there and live on there. Don't come off unless yep. you got to take, unless you, you know what I'm saying. You got to take care of the family or some. Any kind of searching and reading that you're doing, live on them oh, websites. Oh, before 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 you go on more, let me let me put this out there too. Boy, honors to you, honors to you yesterday, because we were supposed to do this yesterday, but you were taking care of the babies. Oh yeah, yeah, I and had to take care of the babies. It's all about taking care of the children. Yeah. Before anything else, 
Yeah, take care of your babies, man. So honors to you, Mar, for for doing your your daddy duties instead of yeah. playing IG games as if this is a reality here. We're just doing this just to put out some information for some people who want to learn. But this ain't this ain't where it is. Like Demar yeah. said, he's on the street right now. He's yeah, not, on the streets. You know what I mean? Yeah, right? we on the streets right now. We ain't we ain't, I ain't I ain't sitting in front of a computer right now. We on the block. Right. Islam. Okay. Islam or they talk about a no knock war. I'm just gonna I just wanna drill a hole in this in this shit real quick. Uh, and, and to get our people to just snap the fuck out of the out of the spell. They yeah. lying to us all the time. But well, you have to get competent in law. You have to because just based off this this bullshit, we already know that there's no such thing as police brutality. But now they just hit y'all with some more colorable shit. They just told y'all there was a such thing as a no knock war. That's not, they just made that shit up out of thin air. Like yeah. Ward just said, if you're acting under color, I can come into your house and make a colorable arrest because you ain't a national. Look, the Fourth Amendment requires police to knock and announce their identity and purpose before forcing their way into a person's home to make an arrest. This requirement can be, tra yo, Kujo, check it out. This requirement can be traced to the early common law and has mm -hmm. withstood the test of time because it makes good sense. Compliance protects privacy by giving the occupants an opportunity to collect themselves, avoids unnecessary destruction of property, and protects police and protects police from being shot in the mistaken belief that they are burglars. Huh? Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Come on, man. Talk to him more. Give it to him. Yep. Right? So think about it now with regard to that situation now. Now let's look at the situation now that we know what's supposed to happen. Yep. Would she have got murdered if they would have knocked and announced themselves? Probably not because dude wouldn't have pulled his gun out right. thinking that it was a burglar. Yes, sir. Now, if there's five against one or five against two or, you know, like with with um, Brother Jamal's case, 15 against two or whatever like that, two mm -hmm. cars parked around the back and then five cars around the side and all of them are, are unmarked and all that. Yep. Now you have an issue because obviously they're not initiating with the intention of trying to be known. Right. Exactly. They're not initiating trying to be known. They're practicing color of law. Mm -hmm. But the reason why they're doing color of law because our people want to be colored people. Facts. Big facts. The reason why they're exercising color of authority and color of office and doing all these colorable actions is because our people want to be colored people. Yep. No matter how much Morris tell them, no matter Juali told them in the 1900s that they're not colored people. They're not colored told them that they're not colored. Why? Because he knew back mm -hmm. then that claiming to be color means you're putting yourself in a jurisdiction where you're going to be complaining about some stuff that you're not going to have any remedy. Yep. So he made it clear to you that you're not Negro, you're not black, and you're not colored. You're Moors. So Fact. now that we're saying that you're Moors, now we're bringing in UN declarations, now we're bringing in rights of a child, now yep. we're bringing in international law yes, sir. Yes, now sir. we're bringing in common law which the book just said common law is something that's been around ain't nobody gonna dispute with common law yes sir. You can't, because common law is foundation to the common law is a foundation to constitutional law it's law natural law is the foundation to common law universal law is the foundation to natural law as soon as you get off that you're you're dead in the water. Yeah, they they shark, shark food. Shark food. You shark food then? Yo, it's crazy to me, Cool Joe, how our people voluntarily just jump off the boat. 
You just jump off the boat to where the shark said, but then you mm -hmm. complain about your ass getting bit up. Yep. And then whole time, Noble Drew Ali put it out there. Noble Drew Ali was so great. He put disclaimers out there and like, like if a motherfucker on the street be like, I bet you can't, I bet you this or I bet you that, right? Because they confident in what they saying. But we mm -hmm. already know we ain't with that gambling shit. We just talk about the principle behind the shit. Noble Drew Ali put it out there on some pretty much so, like, if you got a problem, do this. Yeah. You, you who doubt whether I, the prophet, and my principles are right for the redemption of my people, go to those that know law in the city hall and among the officials in your government and ask them under an intelligent tone, and they will be glad to render you a favorable reply, for they are glad to see me bring you out of darkness into the light. Come on, fam. Come on, man. Read that, read that again. Read that again. Because they didn't get they didn't get it. They ain't get they that. Didn't get it. They didn't get that. Read that again. Okay. Noble Jurali said, and I quote, You who doubt whether I, the prophet, and my principles are right for the redemption of my people, go to those that know law. In the city hall and among the officials in your government. All right, we'll, we'll stop, we'll stop there. Okay. Go to those in City Hall mm. and among the officials in your government. Your government. Your government. Not U.S. Corporation government. Not Chinese guys government. Uh -huh. Not the European government. Not some, some other government somewhere else in the world. Your government. Your officials. Right. Who are supposed to be your grand sheiks, your grand governors, grand secretary, grand treasurer, Grand Mufti, and all these people who know law. Yep. Noble Jwali brought us back into the constitutional fold of government, which is where the law is housed. Mm -hmm. Talk to him more. If you go to those people and they're telling you, oh, the law, we don't do that sovereign stuff and all that stuff. Now you know why you're getting shot up in the street and murdered. Now mm -hmm. you know why you don't have any rights. <laughs> now you know why your rights continue to get violated because the ones who are supposed to know the law, not the city hall people, the people mm -hmm. in your government, the officials in your government who are supposed to know law that never taught you law. Mm. And, and remember, the officials in your government include all the black leaders, all the Negro leaders, all That's the so. colored leaders, all the African-American leaders, That's all so. the go up on the stage and like to make... make um speeches or whatever like that about justice or else and all this type of stuff when yes, they're they're the officials of your government who sold you out mm -hmm. and you only want to realize that your own sold you out talk to him talk Go to ahead, him man. so to add on to that more it's like our people you know what's crazy one thing that's crazy to me even with all this information that we keep flooding them with, they still hold on to something that they not. Mm -hmm. They still hold on to that shit. And it's like, it's going to be like the prophet, is, he said already, G. He said it's going to be bloodshed up to a horse's brow. Like, you would think if you see somebody get their ass beat the fuck down over over and over again, murdered, shot, hung, burned alive, all this wicked diabolical shit, you would say to yourself, like, it's something else that we got to do. It's something else because this shit that we've been doing, this shit ain't working. It's not working. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't working. What else can we do? You would think that, though. So the thing that killed me is, is the indoctrination that strong? That we say that that our, that our people say to themselves, like, I'm still a black man. I'm still a person of color. Like the indoctrination is so wicked. Like, do you gotta bleed before you learn? Man, uncomfortable conversation. Uncomfortable. Somebody got a question in the chat. Um do you think there is a need for a stronger presence on the streets? I lived in Brooklyn with two MST 
but I only learned about you guys online? Mm, that's a great question. Great one. That's a great question. And I, I agree. There definitely needs to be a stronger presence about who the Moors are and what, what like dynasties, how, what kind of great dynasties and what kind of like terrible dynasties that we came from. There's no presence on the streets. That's one thing that the NOI do have that I agree with. They keep it present in the street. I don't give a fuck if they selling your ass bean pies. They still they out, out there. there. They, they out, out there. there. Yep. They out there. They got a they got a final call. They got they got they got information that they putting out at or bean pies, whatever they got. Moors, for the most part, they just playing church inside some motherfucking temple. You ain't yep. out here in the streets. And then and then remember that the the, the reason why they're playing church out there is because that's how they got you to be Negro black colored still and still get your ass beat and all that stuff. All because the time. as soon as you see Moore Science Temple of America play in church, you don't want nothing to do with Moors. Right. I wouldn't want anything to do with Moors either if I go in there and I see these people singing hymns and all this. Yep. What I want, what I want to do be part of that for. Facts. When they were supposed to teach you that this is about your nationality and birthrights. Yes, They're supposed sir. to be teaching you the law. They're supposed to be just like, um, um, oh yes, yeah, right here. Just like um, Anur Majid was saying, because we're gonna, you know, we're 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 gonna acknowledge, but we're also gonna expose the traitorous activity yeah. of these people. Yes, right? sir. Call themselves Nation of Islam or whatever. Yes, sir. Right? On the eve of Nobu death in 1929, W.D. Fard Muhammad, probably born to a man of East India, blah blah. Uh, while attending Ahmadiyya movement, uh, uh, Fard moved to Detroit in 1930 with its estimated 120,000 black people to mm -hmm. peddle exotic clothes and such. Nobu Juali had passed away and Fard Muhammad soon started preaching to Juali's working class customers, mm. establishing a movement of Muslims as opposed to Juali's Muslims. <clears throat> So when we say Nation of Islam and, you know, um, what they're doing and what they're supposed to be doing and they're doing what the Moors are supposed to be doing, because really they're Moors. Yeah, facts. Really, they're supposed to have nationality cards. They're supposed to have fezzes on while they're on the corner selling you bean pies. They're facts. supposed to have turbans on when they're selling you the final call. Facts. They're supposed to be showing you nationality card just like Moors show you nationality card. Talk every place them, called Moor, every place called Nation of Islam, mosque, whatever, number, whatever, is supposed to be saying more science, Temple of America, Temple number one, Temple number five, Temple number 77, yes, Temple number whatever, and you would know about this as well. Yes, so don't, we're, we're not just going to put it on Moors only. Right, talk to them. Right? We're not going to put it on Moors only that, you know, the Moors sold out and then the NOI is doing their job yeah. because you could see them in the streets and all that. No, they're supposed to have fezzes on and all that stuff too, telling you that you're Moors. Not Stop telling you that, that you're Asiatic black men and all that, which right. is putting you back in the same jurisdiction that Nobudwali came to bring you out of and all these people who were founder of Nation of Islam were member of Moors Science Temple of America before they were Nation of Islam. Talk to them. Talk to them more. You got to call yeah. everybody out. Call them out. Call them all out. We talking about people that's part of any kind of organization, any kind of group. Whether you want to be, I don't care what kind of group you want to be a part of. Noble Joe Ali was on the scene in the 1920s, and everything he said has came to pass and will come to pass. Everything. The man even put a disclaimer out there in the divine warning. He put the disclaimer out there when he was like, man, if you doubt, go to those that know law. Go to those that know law. Ask them under an intelligent tone. Your government officials, like Moore just said, ask your black politician. Ask your black so-called black congressman, your so-called black mayor. Your all all people of some kind of political power or of of status in your land, you supposed to be able to ask them these questions. Mm -hmm. We put it out there. Now, what y'all gonna do with the information? Right, you know because what I'm saying? Now, it's, now it's on. Now it's on the people because, exactly. like we said, everybody sold you out. Exactly. It's not. It's not. You know, what I mean, people look at 
you know, they're going to show you some um, Moors in the Congo cutting off hands of people and all that stuff and say the Moors sold out. Or you know, the Moors sold you out in slavery. No, they the do. African the African chiefs, they sold you out. The Indian exactly. chiefs, they sold you out. The Indian chiefs are going with are going to Congress people to have them sanction them to be to be Indians. Mm -hmm. When everybody knows that the Indians are Moors too. Yes, sir. Facts. Right? All Facts. the different black groups, all of them sold you out because they're they're playing the black game. The all the African, you go back to Africa, whatever people sold you out because why are you going back to Africa when you're in Africa right now, right here in America? Facts. Talk right. to them, boy. Talk to them. They need to hear this kind of uncomfortable conversation. Talk right. to them. Yes, sir. And put the other... What a, what the other joint at? Noble Joali, for the record. You see the flag positions? You see the flag positions? I told y'all it's going to be uncomfortable for a lot of you cats out there because you're stuck in your belief system. When my brother Squirrelfoot put it on blast, he said this right here. You can spot a converso, Morisco, or Dirty Moor by the order in which the American flag and the Star Spangled tr Trading Banner is placed. Whichever flag is on the left or higher on the flagpole, the flag is dominant and or the host nation, ETC. We are part and parcel, Aboriginal and Indigenous. We are the host nation, the host nation. Our flag goes on the left or above the flagpole when the stars and stripes banner is placed before our flag on the left or higher it symbolizes occupation or dominance yeah look at noble draw lee the moore's flag yep. is on the left it's dominating it's dominating it's not on the right it's dominating because it's first we the first nation no 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 and and then look what dirty moors are going to tell you that oh they put the flags like that so people from the outside could see it through the window. What window? Ain't no windows. What window? What window? What window? What window? So wall there. So wall there. And even if it was in the window, it don't fucking matter. It's supposed to be on the left. So what you telling? Like these motherfuckers be talking about that shit, and I be like, so Noble Drew Ali got it wrong, and you got it right, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ali didn't know what he was talking about. Right. The prophet didn't know what he was talking about. And right. And then you're talking about the military. It's even in the military. They have the dominant flag on the left. The first nation. Come on, man. We call even, it everybody even, yeah. even, even Even out here, when you go to all the different um, martial arts schools, yep. whatever martial art is, their flags first and then the Canada flag. Yes, sir. Yes, They're not sir. putting the kind of flag before their flag for, for their stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say, don't believe me. Look it up. Then look at the images with Drew Ali, and you will always see our flag, the Morris flag, on the left. He said he is a prophet and a general. Military members and veterans will tell you the same thing about the order of the flags, ETC. Also, Drew Ali had our flag inverted displaying our nation is under duress, i.e. under colonial occupation. Come on, man. Come on, man. You see what's going on, man. See what's going on, Cujo. They know what time it is, man. Yep. They know what time it is, man. Stop playing with us, man. We ain't playing with y'all. You know what I'm saying? You want to play, go to recess. We ain't playing with y'all. And, and again, and to add on to that, we might not be playing with y'all, but Juali also said that only a handful is going to be saved and have fingers left over. So don't mm -hmm. think that, you know, we're on here trying to get the 5 million people, uh, the followers, the 5,000 followers on the page to come say right. that they're, they're Moors. Right. Because we already know these people are brainwashed and they're not even looking to... The, a Moor was telling me just this week almost almost lost his friendship with him with, with another brother because he's saying he's more and then the other brother wants to be black and african and all that stuff and doesn't want anything to do with mars wow and he's and, and and the brother's telling him oh well you know make sure next time you talk to me you don't be rude to me or whatever <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh he's so emotional 
He's so emotional. Uh, the truth, emotional. That, truth, that truth will beat you in the head if, you, if, if you're not careful. That Man. truth will beat you in the head. They, they, it's crazy because people, they, they cry all day about the truth, the truth, the truth. But in reality, man, motherfuckers don't want the truth, man. They don't want they the don't, truth. They don't want it. The truth, you don't, the truth you don't, is too stern. The truth yeah. is too stern. It's, it's, it's like they want some flavoring in their shit. Yeah. You want some, you yeah. want some Kool-Aid flavoring in your shit. Yeah. Nah. They, they want that. They want that. Um, They want that cipher. They don't want the porridge. <laughs> <laughs> right. They want the porridge every day. Every right. day, all yeah. day porridge. Yeah. 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 They <laughs> Porridge for lunch, dinner, breakfast, snack. It doesn't matter. You right. got to eat something? Go you pull, the, eat pull the lever, get some porridge. <laughs> right. They got to eat it, man. They don't want to eat it. <laughs> not, look, man. So, so hold up. So, Noble Drew Ali got it wrong. So, Marcus Garvey got it wrong too, huh? <clears throat> so, they, they both of them got it wrong. And then modern people in today's times got it right, right? Yeah. So how did Noble Drew Ali have thousands of people on the Morris Divine National Movement? Thousands. And thousands. Look at the people that Marcus Garvey had rocking with it. Thousands. And then thousands. And then you're looking at the people that the NOI got, but the NOI got everybody that was left over from the Morris Divine National Movement. Yep. And... and, and and again, Go. just like just like Anur Majid said, not only did they get people left over, Fard even claimed to be Noble Juali reincarnated so they can get temple people. Now that's crazy. Now that's crazy. And everybody else who claimed to be Noble Juali reincarnated. That's crazy. That's crazy, yeah. That's crazy, yeah. They still, they, they still on it. They still trying not to. Every knee shall bow to Islam. So I don't know what they're going to try to do, Cujo. Like, they think like what they're doing right now, they're getting their little fiat, they getting their private commercial paper up and all that. They flossing a little bit. But at the end of the day, every tongue, every knee will confess and bow yep. to Islam. Every so, knee shall. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what they what what they think gonna happen. What they think gonna happen? Everything gonna be forgiven? Nah, everything ain't gonna be forgiven, man. Cause you gonna have to yeah. come back, and you might have to do this again. Yep. So on a, another uncomfortable conversation, as far as Marcus Garvey, well, you got people out here calling themselves Garveyites, and Marcus Garvey hung tight with Noble Drew Ali because he knew he was a Moor. He was Jamaican. So, you know about the Maroons out there. You know what I'm saying, Kujo? Yep. Noble Drew Ali and Marcus Garvey was hanging tight, man. He was the forerunner. Somebody got a question, Kujo? Oh. My bad. Caught up, caught up reading your Garvey book there. Oh, <laughs> uh, we gonna bust it up. Why are why are adults claiming to be another man reborn when it doesn't make sense? Man, because oh, we're getting the we're we're getting the time the time thing right now. Twenty five seconds. We'll let this run out and then we'll, we'll how's how's you how are you looking for time? I'm all good. We we'll kick it out. All right, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll 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 get back on in 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 one in one second. It was an hour already. Yo, it's crazy. Your time is an illusion. <laughs> Man, gee, that's wow. I never was what man was not. <laughs> oh, God. 